Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem how to check for integer overflow in C. The problem statement is write a C function int add opf with three parameters. The first parameter is a pointer variable to store the result and the two other parameters to hold the two numbers. If there is no overflow, the function places the resultant of addition of a and b in result and returns zero. Otherwise, if there is overflow, it returns minus one. And also, the casting to long and adding to detect the overflow is not allowed. We are going to solve this problem using two different methods. Let's see. The first method states that the overflow can occur only if these conditions are met. First, both the numbers are negative and the result is positive, then there will be overflow. Or, if both the numbers are positive and the result is negative, then there will be overflow. Let's see the code for that. Here we call the function add overf from the main function passing three parameters, a pointer to store the result, x holding the first number and y holding the second number. In the function itself, first we add both the numbers and store the result in the result variable. And then we check if a and b are positive and the resultant is negative. If it is true, we return minus one indicating overflow has occurred. If not true, then we go on to check if a and b are negative and the resultant is positive. If true, we return minus one indicating overflow has occurred, as we simply return zero indicating no overflow has occurred. The time complexity of this approach is O of one and the space complexity of this approach is O of one. Let's see the second method. It works only with unsigned integers. Ideally, the sum of a and b should be smaller than or equal to int max. Int max is the maximum value that can be represented using integer type variable. So first we find int max minus b to find the maximum value of a that will not result into overflow. And then we check if a is greater than the maximum value or not. Let's see the code for the same. In the function, first we find int max minus b to find the maximum value and then we check if a is greater than n max minus b. If true, we return minus one indicating this will result into overflow. Else, we find the sum of a and b, store it in result and return zero, indicating there is no overflow. The time complexity of this approach is O of one and the space complexity of this approach is O of one. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.